Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm doing a Q&A. I basically had some of my best friends send in questions that they wanted to ask me or just weird stuff they wanted me to answer. And so I'm really excited. Um, I've seen some of the questions. I haven't really looked at the other ones. So it'll be really super fun and I'm excited. So let's do it. came from my sister what is the most and least appealing about van life so I actually am looking into converting a sprinter van which I just realized about everyone and their mother is doing so that's great um, the most appealing thing would be traveling around um, getting to do great cool adventures um, I think the least appealing thing the least The least appealing thing would probably be, I don't really know if I w would want a shower in my van or not. So just the idea of trying to figure that all out, like where to shower, do you shower? Cause I, I mean, I like being clean. So that's a really good question. I really should probably think this through more. Um, anyway, um, how old are you? I'm 24 years old. I'm very old. I'm in that stage of life where I feel very old. Um, what is your current job? I am a tennis pro at a country club. So I basically teach lessons, clinics. Um, it's two o'clock. Um, make sure events happen, that kind of stuff. Uh, what are your beliefs? I am a Christian, so I'm a follower of Christ. I believe that he died on the cross for our sins, he rose from the grave three days later, conquering death, and that all who repent and turn from sin and follow him and call him Lord and Savior, Savior will have eternal life. Basically, Christ is all. <laughs> Christ is all. Um, oh, should women be allowed to play rugby? Why or why not? So I'm actually wearing my rugby jersey today. South Africa rugby spring bro spring box S spring box spring box jersey. Um, so basically when I was in Africa, at one point a little boy, like a younger boy told me I since I was a girl I couldn't play rugby. I mean, I didn't know I was incapable of that, but um I think if you're honoring the Lord, you can play rugby, like by all means, if you're not doing it for self glorification. Um, what made you want to start making videos? Ugh. So I am graduated with a business administration degree with an emphasis in marketing. Basically right now I'm a tennis pro. I don't know if I want to do that forever. Um, so I'm kind of doing this to like build a portfolio, I'd say. Yeah, build a portfolio, build content, um, stretch my limits, learn new things. Yeah. All right. Great question. <laughs> Should women pursue men? Why or why not? The dating do's and don'ts. This is very ironic because I've never been asked out on a date, nor have I ever gone on a date. And maybe that's the problem, is that I don't like pursue men, I wait for them to pursue me. So maybe I've been doing it wrong. I'm a catch, but like, I guess I'm not a catch. Catch me outside, how about that? <laughs> so maybe I should reconsider that. The dating do's and don'ts. I wouldn't know. Uh, what is your most embarrassing moment? This kind of goes with the dating do's and don'ts. I think I'm cursed. Um, this is really embarrassing. So, and I apologize to this person. I will not name them. 
when I was in first grade, I paid my best friend, insert name, $2 to kiss me. It's a really embarrassing story to tell. And don't think into it too much. Anyway. <laughs> what color of eyes would you pick for yourself if you could? I kind of like the color of my eyes. They're like a green-ish. I don't know if you can see them. But yeah, I like my eye color, so. Um, what song do you think most accurately reflects your own life? Uh, this is the life by Two Door Cinema Club. For sure, without a doubt. What is your, I don't know how to say this, Enneagram? Is it Enneagram? Enneagram type? I think I took this test once. I'm really not into taking those tests, but I think I'm the entertainer. But maybe this is not that test. Maybe this is the one with the numbers. I think I'm a six. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Which sport is better, tennis or basketball? Hmm, tennis or basketball. So, fun fact, my dad was a college basketball coach for 23 years. So I grew up in a gym. I was a gym rat. I would go and hang out while he would have practice. I basically ran around the gym for like the first half of my life. Um, I would say I like watching basketball more and I like playing tennis more. But honestly, they're both pretty great. Uh, what's next? Uh, what's next? If you could live anywhere, where would you live? It's kind of why I want a van, because you can live anywhere. Down by the river, up in the mountains, at your house. Um, I, will, I just would be wherever my friends and family are. If you could switch lives with anyone for a day, who would it be? Also, it has to be a normal person, not a famous person. I would not ever switch lives with a famous person to start with. Also, I'd probably be more interested in switching lives with a historical person. I don't know. Um, a normal person. probably switch friend like lives with my not lives for a day with my friend Leah just because we're very similar in many ways but we're also different but we're also just super weird like yeah I think it'd be funny <laughs> um what are your most and least favorite parts about tennis right now I like that I get paid for it um so that's a great positive um I don't like the physical activity part of it <laughs> like literally I'm the kind of person that without being pushed to exercise I don't so I, I am pushed to exercise every day because of my job um, I think the most interesting part about tennis my favorite part about tennis is just meeting people it's like a social sport so it's pretty lit um there was just a hair in my hand pretty lit okay are you attempting to become an influencer no no <laughs> I am NOT like I said earlier I'm looking to build my portfolio um, I think build my portfolio also like just share my life with people and share the gospel pretty important stuff um, what special skill would you present if you were forced to be on America's Got Talent? Um, I would, I did a talent show in elementary school with the boy that I had forced to kiss me. Um, we did a basketball skills talent. So maybe I would do that. I don't know. Yeah, probably. I don't, I don't really know. I can pop my eyes. It's pretty cool. It's actually really gross. Anyway. Um, would you consider death by... 
shark attack a noble death. Yes, my favorite movie is Jaws. I've always thought that would be a sick way to die. I mean, that's, I, I, rewind, that's so morbid. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool though. I'm, yeah, I mean, put that on a tombstone. Uh, if you could really relieve, uh, if you could relive one day of your life, what would it be? I'm not looking to the past, I'm looking to the future. So I'm just gonna keep living every day like I'm reliving every day. Quote, put it on a t-shirt. Um, what article of clothing is your favorite? These Birkenstocks. <laughs> I wear them almost every day. If I'm in my house, they're on my feet. I don't walk around my house barefoot. I wear these. And I've had these for like four years and I need a new pair. But minor details. Uh, uh, what movie soundtrack would be your life soundtrack? My mind wants to say Jaws, but that's not truthful. That's just me. Probably um, Mamma Mia, the ABBA soundtrack, because I listen to it every day with my family. I'm right next to a college, so, you know. What was your dream job in elementary school? I wanted to be a WNBA basketball player. I'm a little short. Minor details, it's fine because now I'm a tennis pro. Um, why do you think makeup has never appealed to you growing up? Good question. I have no idea. It just hasn't. I think it's because my mom always like, I've, I've always been like a tomboy, so um, it's always been a struggle for me to just even like bathe. I mean, not anymore, but like, I think my mom, had other concerns like does she, is she gonna wake up and put on fresh clothes today <laughs> so, um also I just I'm kind of one of those people that just gets up and just heads out the door so yeah um when was the most angry you've ever been and how did you get through it I'm kind of I try to be slow to anger my sister reminded me, my sister Jessie reminded me a few months ago of the time when we were little and I threatened her with a knife before I knew Christ. <laughs> Sorry, Jessie. I love you. Shout out to you. Uh, ooh, this is a theological question. I love these test yourself every day people is it biblical to be driven by heavenly rewards it's a good question i'm gonna have to definitely probably research this and look dive deeper into the word um but i don't think we are driven by our rewards but we're driven by um christ who he is what he's done for us and how we want to bring him glory I think our reward is eternal life. Um, that being said, I don't think we'll be really fixated on our heavenly rewards in heaven. I think we'll be fixated on him. So I don't know. Maybe I'll look more of that up. If I do, maybe I'll find some scriptural references. I don't know. What were some of your favorite moments in college and how did you adapt to change? Phew ever heard about my college experience, which you probably haven't, it was like this. A roller coaster. <laughs> um, adapting to change. I had a, in college I was forced to grow up pretty quickly, um, just because of certain circumstances. Uh, but I think my favorite moments are just the people that I met along the way. I met so many different people 
across my four and a half years at college. Um, I went to junior college for two years and then I went to the master's university for two and a half years. So I met lots of different people. Um, I don't think I would change anything about college. Like it was, it was awesome. The whole experience was awesome. Like I really got to see the faithfulness of God. So that was sick. Um, what's your favorite color? Green. Who is your favorite sibling? We're not supposed to have favorites. Yeah. Let's see? And that's the end. That's the end. We're done. Those were all the questions. Thanks guys for tuning into this video and watching. Please like and subscribe. Turn on that bell for notifications. Also, I wanted to just note that I will not be allowing comments on my videos moving forward. That's just to um, basically not make me vulnerable to negativity. I'm using this as a platform to grow a portfolio. Um, I am looking forward to getting some feedback from my friends. If you do love um, this channel and this video, please like and subscribe. That's the way you can show me your support. Um, I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Catch you later.